Hey guys, it's Ray. Have a uh, customer who um, rolled in here having some booster pump issues. We're going to uh, do a quick um, strip and clean on there. I've already got the tube off. I want to figure out what the heck's going on with it. Um, it's tripping the generator a great deal. Seems to be working good on uh, regular power. So remember these tubes, there are a reverse thread on there. So it's righty loosey, lefty tighty. Uh, we're gonna pull this off. And uh, immediately we see, you know, a couple of issues here. One of these diffusers, uh, the hub has been spun on this. Um, also, if you notice on these, we get this calcium dropout, this calcium buildup here. Uh, we're going to go and clean that up. These, this pump um, got a little bit of growth and funk and, and nastiness, you know, along the outside of here. So, want to get this cleaned up with a little uh, muriatic acid wash quickly. Now, if we simply pop uh, this clip off of the shaft right here. All of these will slide off. Don't lose it. Uh, and we'll start pulling these uh, diffuser impeller bowl assemblies off. As we're getting deeper and deeper in here, we're seeing just a lot of buildup and funk up on these uh, Im Im uh, impellers, diffusers. Um, you know, we could wind up replacing the whole package on here. But here, I just really want to, uh, they got to use this truck. So I want to do just kind of a quick cleanup on here, dump it in some acid and get it reassembled so they can be on their way. All right, so there's a picture of our shaft. It's pretty funky. There's some good buildup on here. We're going to get that wiped down with muratic. Uh, we're going to come in and, and pop uh, these diffusers and impellers off. A lot of these uh, impellers, um, I don't know, pretty funky. But we're gonna pop this off, get it cleaned up here real quick, and um, get them back together, replace the individual uh, impeller diffusers as needed. I see a couple of them that are spun out, but all in all, pretty good condition. Uh, just dirty and nasty. This pump has been on this truck for, uh, well, right at a year. All right, we're dropping these guys in here. You see this muratic is, is eating at that uh, calcium sodium uh, buildup on everything. We'll let it soak for five or six minutes. I'm taking care to save any of my shims that I find. Then we'll reshim and tune this motor up and uh, have them on their way here. Is it soup yet? All right, there's a pretty good buildup of this sodium dropout along this shaft. So uh, we got some muriatic acid, a little stronger muriatic acid, uh, and just rubbing the shaft down, uh, trying to break up some of these deposits on here. It'll really make these things slide on uh, a lot easier if we get that off. For example, boom, nice and easy there, okay? And in a perfect world, we would be um, replacing and doing a total rebuild kit, a uh, total rebuild of the impellers and the diffusers. We don't live in a perfect world, and I'm trying to get these guys out and going. So uh, just doing a real quick, uh, quick and easy change out of the ones that need to be done. Uh, after we cleaned it up, we found five that had been spun out and needed some problems. So I'm going to replace five of these and not all, is this a three quarter horse? Uh, and not all 14. So whenever you get these things rebuilt, I didn't really address the shim issue, but the shims are to help keep it square. Paul Cassander has a great video of, of using the shims. Um, you may not need all of the shims that you had before if it squares up real good. We're going to 
um, save these in case we get some grinding in the motor, but probably not going to. You can see it's a lot cleaner now that we've got it uh, rubbed down with the muriatic acid. We got that sodium and calcium dropout uh, cleaned off of it. And uh, we have it uh, restacked, uh, some new diffusers where needed, and uh, plug it along. I'm gonna put a couple of shims on the end of this just to be safe to take up a little bit of space there before the clip. What are you? I have, I have it split, but all we have that is remaining. So while we're in here, we're gonna also um, clean off the inside of this tube too, because it will have a little mild, you know, build up on this. Something else we want to do that I didn't go through, we want to make sure this pump is rinsed out real well. We want to be using water in here and make sure all the bleach is gone because we do not want to mix muriatic acid and bleach together. Uh, you can see that's bubbled off uh, that little like calcium build up there. Gonna rinse this out and reinstall the tube. All right, so we've got her reassembled here. Uh, we're gonna plug in and uh, see what's uh, happening. Oh, this gun's horrible, Nick. Out of it. 